Welcome to Buffalo and Bear Adventures. This is the third part of our trip to Taylor Park, Colorado. Follow along as we explore some of the most beautiful places in the area. With rocky trails, spruce and aspen trees, moose, chipmunks, creeks, closed trails, and pie, this trip is certainly worthy of being called an adventure. Taking one of the lesser traveled routes south out of Tin Cup through Tin Cup Gulch takes you by some rich mining history, as well as across the top of Gold Hill for some truly epic views. Next on the route is, take, is going over Cumberland Pass and down to Pitkin for delicious food, ice cream, and souvenirs. him. Yeah, I watched him do it.
like this. Oh, this gets a lot more steep. Grippy boots. Don't fail me now. Don't fall. Okay. and veggie pasta. It's gonna be yummy. Just needs to finish cooking. I'm starving. Seven o'clock. Bit of a long day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got away from us. <laughs> you know, detours. After a full day in the razor, all they want to do is run and be crazy. And we're glad to let them. Good morning. It's pretty cold out. And a lot of chipmunks are out when you're up this early. But um, today we are going to go over Tenka Pass to go feed the chipmunks at St. Elmo. Because the road we were going to take yesterday was closed. And we may stop at Mirror Lake to go fish. Oh, sorry, what day is it? Hi. Where are we going? Hi. Chicken Yes! Stay in the Stay in the Why do you always say That's right, over, over Tin Cup Pass to St. Elmo. Since we couldn't make it yesterday, we'll do it today. Boom. Yep. In October 1859, prospector Jim Taylor panned some gold from Willow Creek and carried the gold back to camp in the Tin Cup. This was just the beginning of the mining in the area. 
Just a few years later, in the late 1880s, you could see nearly 50 teams of six mules carrying ore over the pass daily. In 1880, the town was known as Virginia City, and the census logged a population of 1,495 people. In 1882, the town was renamed Tin Cup, and the gold was depleted from the area, the town slowly started to shrink. In 1918, the post office closed and the last election was held. Taking Tin Cup Pass, starting in the historic ghost town of St. Elmo, takes you along the North Fork Chalk Creek and crosses the Continental Divide at an elevation of 12,154 feet and drops you off at Mirror Lake and ends there in Tin Cup, Colorado. Don't touch him, Grayson. He'll go away. He's got the fattest cheeks right there. He's got fatterty of them up in there. Don't touch him, or you're scaring him off, okay? Oh, here comes Big Chungus. Not only does St. Elmo have chipmunks, they got stores, ghost town, old buildings. You can go in some of these and see the uh, sheriff's office with the jail, and post office, and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. This is the uh, Mary Murphy Mill site. I don't know if we'll make it up to the mine. It's kind of a sketch trail. But these old cabins and stuff are still here and they're beautiful. That was a souvenir knife was sharp, wasn't it? I used the wrong side. Yeah. <laughs> we got blood everywhere. Yeah. That's for me. Is that you? They're good. They're Tuck your, your uh, boots into your pants. Grace, it is. 
Is it raining? Yeah, and it's raining. You gotta put your hood on, okay? Yeah, I know. Okay. We got a little leak up here. Turn this music up, that'll get its attention. Oh, I've got an eye for mooses. Oh, I'm videoing my... I've got an eye for mooses. Happy as you hey can guys. be. Cherry Ella Mood. Show Gigi, it's as big as him. Hey, you want to help me with some of this? Gigi, I'll take cut pie. Just yeah. Why is there a pie? It's as big as my hand. <laughs> my pie is as big as my hand. It's as big as G's head. Back to where I was. That's piece number four for today. Hey guys. What? How was your day? vegetables and fajita chicken and beans whatever else we got left to cook crack that open we'll put it in our food no <laughs> Jump, 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 jump. 